Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my first ever Avatar set review. Now, this was teased a while ago when I tried to do the photo shoot and then was going to record the reviews outside, but obviously there was issues with the lighting and stuff, so we're doing it indoors as just a regular review because I really need to talk about these sets. Specifically the other set that will be reviewed next week or maybe in a couple of weeks. So, taking a look at this set, it comes with five minifigures and Two very distinct builds. You could count it as three. And none of these builds are really side builds, so it's kind of difficult to decide what one we're going to take a look at first. I think to make this decision a little bit easier, we'll take a look at the minifigures and just kind of get them out of the way. And one of the minifigures I will talk about in kind of greater detail. So I think we'll start this off by getting a look at the two Avatar figures. And uh, these are two very nice figures. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, so my knowledge on these characters is a bit rusty. It's not been a, uh, something that I've really watched as an adult, so don't really know any interactions or any of the specific looks. I know the general gist of Avatar, um, and honestly, I think he's quite good. Especially this figure here. Um, I think this is Jake. Um, I think it's quite a nice figure. I don't know what weapons or accessories they should have, so I think this bow is quite nice. kind of keeps everything in scale, uh, which I think is kind of fun, you know, having a bigger bow compared to the usual standard ones for these larger than average minifigures. They use the old woody arms and legs design, um, although I believe they are actually new. Um, like, same design, but a new piece with like a different moulding process or something. Um, I can't exactly remember what changes they made. Taking a closer look at him, he's quite cool. One thing that I really like about these Avatar figures is you can kind of see they have this like glittery shine to them if you get them in the right lighting. And this was something that I was having issues capturing when I was out doing the photography was they're always just kind of grey. Um, that was a photography issue, not a minifigure issue. When you have good lighting, or moderate lighting even, you can really get that shine and it really pops, really looks really nice. Uh, it's also on the face, I don't know if you can see that. And yeah, I won't bother taking anything off, um, just because, again, they're fairly uh, basic. Or not basic even, like, uh, fairly easy to understand figures. Again, just more of that subtle glitter that you don't really see unless you capture them in the perfect lighting, which I think is kind of nice. Now, taking a look at this other Avatar dude. Again, don't remember any of their names, but it's an Avatar guy. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is the head and hair are new for Avatar, or not very new anymore. They've been around for quite a while at this point. comes with this large spear build, which I think was quite cool. You know, it's kind of nice to have a bit of a change in the spears. And they also come with this tail. I don't know if this is... It's definitely a new colour, but I don't remember if it is actually a new piece. Um, either way, that looks quite nice. And uh, this one doesn't have as much of that shine. It's only on the face, because the torso is covered up. One thing that I will say is I don't really like this blue streak here, which is how they connect the tail, because it's... One of those hip attachments, which makes it look like he's got a bit of a gap between the shirt and the trousers, which I'm not a fan of. Now, this video is going to have a video entirely about it on the other channel, because I want to talk about the wheelchair piece, which isn't anything new, but it's my first time getting the standard wheelchair, which I'm uh, kind of glad to finally have at this point. Um, if you guys don't know anything about these pieces, you can have other figures push them, um, They've got handles on the back, which can be a bit annoying to sort out, but there you go, if it will focus. Um, and yeah, this is wheelchair, been around for a while. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. This is quite a plain figure, um, but also fairly nicely detailed, where it's got this very grey colour scheme, very monotone, very bland, but it does have some interesting designs. Like with the sweat patches, uh, on the torso especially, I wish that they'd done the sweat a little bit better, because um, at the moment it just kind of looks like someone's taken a marker and, you know, drawn on it, 
drawn a squiggle. Um, so that's not ideal, but you know, it's nothing too serious. You still get the idea. And uh, on the back, again, just very plain printing, nothing too special, but also nothing bad. Um, I can't remember how accurate this is to Jake um, in the movie, but you know, it is what it is. He's also got this really nice alternate face printing uh, with a mask design. I really like this face, it's going to be really useful for some other like figures. And um, you can see that it's got like a bit of a mark up the top, which you often get from wearing the, the ring, kind of like goggles, where they usually leave a ring around where you've had them. Um, so it's a really nice subtle print that I really like there. And yeah, I think this glass face, or this like masked face, is really nice. And it's on another figure as well, which we'll take a look at now. And I don't remember this character's name, but they are named. You guys will probably remember. It's on the box. Again, I don't really know enough about Avatar to uh, be looking for this. I mainly got it for the set, because it was an amazing set. Um, the figures don't really mind. Now, as I said, glass face or glass mask face. This one suits it a little bit better than the other one, um, just because the hair kind of matches uh, and covers up some of the missing strap. Like on the side here, you can see that it just cuts off, but the hair does kind of solve a lot of that, especially up top. And again, got the ring or the mark up top of the head, and, uh, you know, just this really nice torso printing. I can't remember, but I believe these legs did appear in a Jurassic Park set, the uh, Velociraptor kitchen scene. I could be wrong, um, but it's, it's nice. It's a nice piece, dual molded legs. Um, printing on the side as well. And then looking at the back, got some, again, fairly subtle printing, or not really subtle, but basic printing, um, but nothing bad, just nothing to a, this special or stands out. And I almost forgot there's another face print, which is unmasked and kind of happy, a um, bit more of a neutral face, which I quite like. And this is the last figure of the set comes with this really nice sunglasses and uh, comms unit design, which I really like. Uh, some really fun torso printing that I'm a fan of. Plain green legs, but, you know, there's a belt design up the torso, which I don't mind. Um, and then, again, on the back, fairly basic, but still quite nice printing. And here is a look at the alternate face print method will focus. Now we can take a look at the main Site-26, which is a uh, quite a nice build. I Again, this was one of the main reasons I got this set, is because it's one of the first times that we've had this style of building. It is a uh, like, long building, uh, almost container, carrier, almost like pop-up station that you'd find. Um, really unique build, really nice, and even some of the interior details are really fun. One thing that I will say on the exterior is I thought these were going to connect to the helicopter, where you could like connect string or chains to this, and then have them attached to the helicopter to lift up and move it around. It's not a feature, I've not tried it, I've not got any chains to try it, but maybe in the future that's something to try, or with your own pieces you can try it and let me know in the comments. Um, but that is definitely something that I wish was included. I don't know if it happens in the movie, but it would have been nice if it was included in the set. Now, going back to the front, it's got this ramp here, which I really like. Works with the Lego wheelchair for Jake. Um, you know, you can bring him up. It's kind of difficult to get through, like, the gap between here and here, because if you can imagine bringing the figure in, they get stuck on this wooden bit, but, you know, it's three wide, so you can fit Jake all the way up to the top here, um, and there is safety rails, bit of a spy bit there, where there's nothing, but I think it still gets the job done, and you can also take the figure down the ramp, which again, quite nice, not an issue, just a fun bit of accessibility in LEGO Disability. Got this uh, printed keypad bit here, which is a print. Um, 
and then this opening door which will take you inside. Now Jake can go through this um, but the door has to be open you know you can't imagine him coming up here and then you know getting to the top of the door and then opening it. You have to have the door open and then you can fit him through um, with a bit of uh, trial and error. And now that will lead us into the interior which is uh, fairly easy to access, even removes one of the walls. Uh, this all comes off as an assembly, not attached with studs or anything, it's just kind of easy to remove. And on the interior, we got this ramp here, uh, which I don't know if it will focus, but does work really nicely with the uh, wheelchair, kind of helps the figure come in. And there's not much studded interior, which I think works well with the wheelchair, there is this one stud here for posing figures. You can still stand mini figures wherever you want. Uh, there is still space, it's just they're not securely attached unless it's on this point here or on the chair. This is a spinning chair, by the way, which uh, I think is quite nice. And uh, this was just a sticker pit, a uh, sticker piece, which I think looks quite nice. I don't know what kind of things it's meant to be displaying, but I think for a sticker, it's not too bad. Again, stickers are always a downside, but this one wasn't too annoying to do. And again, you can sit a figure on the chair uh, here and spin them around. You can see them through the windows as well, which is quite nice if you're trying to do photo shoots. There's another sticker on the interior here, over here, um, showing Jake inside this thing here, which I think is kind of cool. It would have been fun if they had like a swap out function where you could have the screen with him in there and then maybe without. But, you know, one sticker is more than enough. You know, we hate stickers. But it's it's there. It's fun. I quite like it. There's a yellow indicator light up here. Um, don't know if like that makes sense for the scene, but I think it's good enough. One more thing that I forgot to say on the exterior is there's a lot of greebling down here. Uh, of like barrels and switches and things, which is kind of cool. But going back onto the interior, you've got this really nice pod build using a sticker here to control it. You can open it up as well and uh, take Jake out of his wheelchair and lay him in there. And he goes in there quite nicely. Um, and you can shut him in with quite a secure design, really like it. You can remove this build um, as like a subsection if you want more space, but it is a bit fiddly, so I don't recommend it unless you're planning on modifying it, which it is possible to do. And uh, one more thing before we move on to the other builds is there is plenty of space on the interior for Jake's wheelchair to move about if you so wish. Now this is technically the side build, but it is two fairly large builds, which are put together and form an even larger build. So we'll take a look at the top bit first, which is the helicopter. Now if I can move this up just to get a better view. Um, I won't remove it from the stand just yet, but it can be removed. Uh, you can lift it up to that angle and it will stay there without any support, which I think is kind of cool. And you can angle it down as well. If you wanted to rotate it, you can. I will show you guys that in just a second. And um, this build's quite nice, I really like it. Um, again, one of the main draws to this set for me personally, kind of like a VTOL build, I'm gonna remove it now. Uh, it's connected through these Technic ports onto this Technic beam, which means that you can, if you wanted to, have it facing that way, uh, and then have more of Avatar's land exposed there, which I don't know if it's less secure, you know, I'm bouncing on the top of it and nothing's falling, but I, I still feel like there's a lot of tension being put on that one piece there compared to when it's able to rest on this bit of the, like, floating island. And again, just like before, you can tow it up, however, it won't stay there, uh, again, because it's not really intended to do that, it's just kind of something that you can do because of the build's design. Now again, just removing it, I'm going to take a look at the land in just a second. But I do want to talk about the top 
if it will focus. You got three stickers or four stickers here, 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 and here, which all kind of like funnel into this really nice shape. Quite a big fan of that. You know, it is a bit annoying because you have the blue there, and uh, you know, because they're stickers, they don't fill out the entire space. Definitely would prefer prints, but I always prefer prints. Speaking of prints, the cockpit is printed, this like glass canopy piece, which can be removed in order to fit a minifigure in the interior. If I uh, do that. It looks like there should be space for another figure. There isn't, I've tried it. You, ha you can move this figure forwards quite a bit, but there's still just not enough height when the canopy's on to allow a spare figure on the interior, which is a bit annoying, but the interior does look nice. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to show you when it's not in focus and with the canopy off, uh, on, but you know, it's simple. It does the job. I quite like it. You can see the figure quite nicely, especially when the canopy's on. Um, yeah, quite a big fan of that. There's these stickers on either side of lions or tigers. Uh, tigers on the side, and then there's two stud shooters, one on either side, which I'm quite a big fan of. Won't shoot them off because I don't want to lose pieces, but you guys get the gist of stud shooters by now. And uh, yeah, quite a nice shape. Really a big fan of it. The way that everything comes together is really fun. Really like this hollow space here for placing other figures. Um, so you can have Jake Sully in there like that. Or you can have them facing outwards if you prefer, uh, if I can uh, sort out a figure. You can see I've got the other figure in there like that. Um, you know, it kind of makes it feel a bit more like a VTOL people carrier. Or you could make your own cargo um, to fit inside, which would be quite fun as well. And uh, the propellers on either side can be adjusted, so you can either have them facing forwards they spin 360, so anywhere that you want to angle them, you can. You can get some really different poses, you know, have one facing backwards, one facing forwards to do like a turn. I really like it. It's a really fun build. Again, one of the main draws to the set for me personally. Just really fun to fiddle around with. Now, a quick look at the Pandora build. You've got this floating island up here on this clear beam, and it's got this like root coming around it. It's got three plants. These white tips are glow in the dark. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, it's glow in the dark. You've seen glow in the dark pieces before. If not, there's other reviews on YouTube. Um, these white flowers don't glow. I really wish that they would have, but they are just plain white flowers, which is a bit of a shame, but still adds a really nice design to the build. Um, honestly, I don't really have any complaints with it. There's like a bit of a ugly side to the back, you know, there's a blue Technic piece here and ugly holes in the back, but from the front it looks really nice and there is a clip here and here to attach it to the other Pandora builds which come throughout all of the Avatar sets where you can extend them all out and have this mini world and they're all modular. So again, that's quite fun. You can angle and adjust some of the vines if you really wish to. Um, and then on the top of the like floating island, again, just a really nice design. Um, nothing too special. It's just kind of meant to be like a floating pad for the helicopter, but I think it, it does look nice, especially when combined with other builds. Now I've set up a bit of a small display with the builds. Um, I'm going to give you my final thoughts and opinions, kind of do a quick go over the set. So. The main draws to the set, obviously, as you guys know, I'm not a massive Avatar fan. But the fact that I got it was for this helicopter VTOL jet thing, absolutely amazing. It's really easy to pose and play with, especially with this Pandora build. I'm not that fussed about the Pandora build, um, you know, the small section that we do have. It's nice, it goes well with the general theme, and it does look really good. But I don't really have a personal attachment to... Avatar, so this is a good build if you take it out of the world, and so is this. I do wish that there was more compatibility, because this is really implemented into the Pandora build, 
but I do wish that this was coming about it or this was uh, thought of in the design for this so you could attach that to that. Don't know if it does happen in the movie so you know maybe if it doesn't happen Lego didn't think that they needed to and it's not that hard to modify just attach pieces to this and then attach pieces to that um, it just chains that, that should do it is four chains one on each of these points uh, across this and find four studs here to attach them on nothing too complex but um, that, that's just what I want to do um, as I said it may not even happen it may be wrong to include chains so I'm not too mad about that the figures are nice uh, the Avatar figures are definitely the highlight, if you like Avatar especially. Um, like This figure is probably the worst out of the two, but it's still really nice. People complain about the ears and the fact the head shapes look weird, but I think the Avatar characters or the Avatars um, do kind of have that distinct look to them, so it's nothing too serious. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is the helicopter VTOL jet thing also has space up here where you can attach avatar characters um, so you know it's not just normal scale figures but even these larger ones can fit up here which is really nice and uh, yeah this is I can't remember how much I paid for it again but for, for what you get I think it is good everything kinda comes together really nicely all the builds look nice there's no real like major flaws with anything um, you know there was ugly technic on the back of this, but that's it. Everything else just comes together so nicely. Yes, some of the human figures, especially the Jake human figure that's currently inside the thing here, um, is a little bit plain and bare, but everything else makes up for that. So I'm more than happy with this set. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in a comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye.